As you work on your HyperDoc, you're going to want to create various questions. You've been challenged to do that given the various sources that you're going to work with, whether they're videos or articles or other challenges that you are given through this asynchronous module. So one thing you're going to have to do is come up with various levels of questioning in your question formulation technique. I have here the list of the seven levels of questioning, but I wanted to create a screencast that sort of walked you through and provided examples of each of these types of questions. So on the second page of this document, I have scrolled down and given several seven levels of questioning and examples of those types of questions uh, for the Gettysburg Address. Hopefully that's a document that many people are familiar with, so um, it should make sense as I give examples of the questions. So the first level of questions are factual questions. You're essentially coming up with five W questions as if you were an investigative reporter. So an example of this for the Gettysburg Address was who wrote the Gettysburg Address and when was the speech first delivered? The next level, level two, would be analytical questions, processing in a disciplinary literate way. What would the effects might be an example? Or what is the meaning of this passage? So I took a passage from the Gettysburg Address but in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggle here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. And the question that I generated, and a question that you might generate based on a passage, would be, what do you think Lincoln meant by this particular passage in the address? Who was he addressing? Who was his target audience when he said this? Question, the third type of question are reflective questions. Why did this happen? And an example might be, why do you think Lincoln chose to give such a short address given the importance and gravity of the occasion to honor the dead who had fallen at Gettysburg? Type four is a hypothetical question. You're basically generating a what if question with possibilities and potential um, as your motivation. In my example that I provided was what if Lincoln had given similar speeches at other battlefields to commemorate the fallen? Why do you suppose that he did not? Argumentative questions, the fifth type would be, should something have happened? You need to defend a side. And here's an example. Why, did Lincoln, why didn't Lincoln give a longer speech given that the next presidential election was less than a year away? Lincoln should have continued on a speech tour to commemorate the fallen soldiers who died for the Union. Lincoln that Lincoln was trying to preserve. The next type are referred to as effective questions. Do you believe? It's basically coming up uh, with a personal expression. Do you believe that the Gettysburg Address had more of an impact when, is to, when it was delivered in 1863? Or has its influence grown over time so that it has meant more since it was delivered? That would be an example. Again, you are not necessarily responsible for answering these questions. Uh, but you do need to generate them. Personal questions. What do you want to learn? What do you want to know more about? Your personal curiosity given this situation. And remember, for the module that in question, you're thinking about you know, agricultural in Maine and the farm-to-table movement. So be thinking as you are you know, going through the sources, what sort of questions can I generate that I can then go find out more about? And an example of these that would continue, given this model of the Gettysburg Address that I'm providing for you, um, who else gave speeches on the same day the Gettysburg Address was given? And why have those speeches not been more immortalized in history as the Gettysburg Address has been immortalized? So these are examples. Hopefully this will help to give you a better understanding of the types of questions you need to be generating, given the sources that you have um, in the module around the idea of main agriculture and the most recent farm-to-table movement.